Hi! Today I'm going to show you how I made a mango blueberry and coconut pavlova. To make the meringue you'll need 6 egg whites, 300 grams of white sugar, 4 to 5 tablespoons of desiccated coconut, 1 teaspoon of cream of tartar and some lemon or vanilla extract. To make the meringue, which is the base of your pavlova, you need to whisk your egg whites until they're thick and foamy. And this is going to take a couple of minutes in a stand mixer on high. I definitely recommend using a glass or a stainless steel bowl for best results. And definitely make sure that your bowl is really, really clean because if you don't, your meringues won't whip up to full volume. Once your eggs are really thick and foamy, you can add your cream of tartar. Now I'm using sachets and I've used about 4 grams of a 5 gram sachet, which is just short of a teaspoon. But if you don't have cream of tartar, you could always use a teaspoon of lemon juice or white wine vinegar and it will do a very similar job. Don't forget to add a couple of drops of lemon or vanilla extract while it's whipping up and you just keep going until it goes from foamy to soft to medium peaks. Add half the sugar to your egg whites slowly while it's mixing. Once you've slowly added in half of your sugar, you need to fold in the other half. So just put a bit in and then fold really gently. And it is really important to do it really gently because if you don't, then you're going to knock out all of the air that you've just spent 10 minutes putting into those whites. After you've folded in your sugar, you can fold in your desiccated coconut. Now, as before, it's really important to just fold it in really gently and don't add it all at once. I'm now spooning my mixture onto a piece of non-stick baking paper. I've drawn a circle on the paper, it's an 8 inch circle, and that's going to allow me to get a nice round pavlova, but also it gives me a size that I can work to, because my serving plate is 9 inches wide, so this means I'll get an 8 inch pavlova, and it'll fit nicely. Now with this mixture you could definitely make a 10 inch pavlova, but because I'm only making an 8 inch, I'm going to have some meringue mixture left over, and I'm just going to make a separate meringue which I'll pop in the oven as well. Another thing to mention is it's a really good idea to flatten out the top of your meringue because it gives you somewhere to put your cream, it makes it look a lot nicer and it's a lot easier to spread the cream over a flatter surface. When you're ready, your meringue needs to go into your preheated oven, 120 degrees fan, and leave it in there for about 40 minutes. Then turn the temperature down to 80 and leave it in there for another 40 minutes. Then turn it off completely and leave it in the oven with the door closed for an hour. And it should be perfect. To complete and assemble your pavlova, you'll need 300 millilitres of double cream, 
four tablespoons of icing sugar, some vanilla extract, just a few drops, and some prepared mango and some washed blueberries. The first thing you need to do is whip up your cream. I'm using a stand mixer and all in all it will take less than five minutes. You're just going for soft peaks. Add your icing sugar halfway through and just remember that your fruits, if they're really ripe, will be quite sweet anyway. So don't make your cream overly sweet. Add a few drops of vanilla and whisk until you get nice soft peaks and you can check that by putting your spatula or your spoon in there and moving it about and if it feels still quite soft then you're ready. To assemble the pavlova, take your meringue off your baking paper and pop it onto your serving platter. Add all of your cream to the centre of the meringue and using the back of a spoon or a palette knife, just spread it out nice and evenly. The final step is to add your prepared fruits to the top of your whipped cream and to liberally dust it all with icing sugar and you're ready to serve. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you give it a go. Please like, comment and subscribe.